Hello and welcome to the Chart of the Week video with me, David Madden. Today's date is Thursday the 9th of May 2019 and the time has just gone 11.40 British Summer Time. This week's Chart of the Week is the US dollar versus the Canadian dollar, the dollar, the dollar CAD. And if you take a look at the chart over the last 11 or 12 months, we can see that the dollar CAD has been in a very clear upward trend, a nice series of higher highs and higher lows. And we can see here um, in late April, um, the dollar CAD hit a level not seen since early January. So it's in, and, and if you look at the price action in recent months, it's been slowly but surely grinding higher. And the upper trend is very much, still very much in place. And if you take out the recent highs of April in that one spot 32.21, this area here, we could look at re heading up towards the one spot 36 area. There's quite a bit of consolidation in that area. Um, in December last year, and should we, we go beyond that, we could be looking up towards the highs of December, last, the highs of um, well, December and January um, just gone, in at one spot 36.60, and if you take if you take out that high, uh, we could be go all the way back to this area here, uh, 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 in at one spot 37.90. Uh, these this, this metric, these levels haven't been seen uh, since May 2017. And as you can see, given that it's been a nice upward trend the last few months, um, buying on the dip has been a fairly popular strategy uh, with, with some traders. So if we do see any moves to the downside in the dollar CAD, we could see fresh buyers enter the fold. And if the market does manage to drift a bit lower, uh, support could be found from this blue line here, the 50 day moving average, which comes into play at 1 spot 33.84. You'll notice how the 50-day moving average did manage to act as support on a few occasions in March and April. And if a metric has acted as support in the past, it makes it more likely it will do so in the future. Obviously, there are no guarantees. Uh, similar with the 100-day moving average that acted as support on a few occasions. Uh, so, so the 100-day moving average, which currently comes to play at 1 spot 33.44, that might act um, as support in the near term, should we see a move to the downside. It's only really if you can take out the mid to April lows of this area here in around one spot 3274. Could then could, could then we kind of begin to question the recent upward trend. Uh, and then we might actually that that could be an indication that the market is actually turning over on itself and it could head back down towards this red line here, the 30 moving average in at one spot 30 one spot 3225, or even maybe down as low as the kind of psychology board one spot 32 figure itself. Now, some of the reasons uh, for this, uh, for the divergence between the dollar and for some of the reasons for the the, um, the dominance of the U.S. dollar over the Canadian dollar has been the divergence of the two economies. Uh, the first quarter of U.S. growth was actually quite, was actually quite strong. Uh, it may not be as strong as initially expected, given that we have seen a decline in in, uh, in U.S. inflation. But the growth figures in the first quarter from the U.S. were strong. The latest um, jobless, the latest um, of, um, job the latest employment figures from the US in the form of the non farm payrolls figures were quite strong. On the flip side of things, uh, the Canadian, dollar, Canadian economy cooled at the back end of 2018, and also there has been some softness in construction and consumer uh, consumer spending in Canada uh, in early 2019. And the Bank of Canada maintained interest rates uh, at, at, at their level, and they've actually, they've actually downgraded the, the growth forecasts. Uh, they now predict at the first half of, of the Canadian economy isn't going to grow as as much as it previously predicted. So there is so so we, there is this divergence between the two economies slightly, and that's why we're seeing the US dollar uh, continue to push on higher versus the Canadian dollar. Now, if you're not going to be trading the dollar CAD, uh, please keep an eye out for economic indicators tomorrow. Uh, we have US CPI and we also have Canadian employment. Uh, so we'd like to see some volatility on the back of those figures. If you have any comments to make on this video or any of the other videos we've made here at CMC Markets, please feel free to leave a review on Google Reviews. And that's all for me this week. Thank you very much.